Good day, Gemini viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your amazing energy. And thank you for clicking on like, share, and subscribing to my channel. Um, it really does help the algorithm on YouTube and um, helps my channel grow. So it really is appreciated. Today, I'll be doing a general reading for April 2022. Uh, it's a general reading, like I said, not personal, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. This reading is for placements in Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Now, if you never tuned in to Just Be Tarot before, I get started with pulling some uh, Oracle cards from a couple different Oracle decks, and then I move on to Tarot. Now, um, I am taking personal readings, so see, please see below on how to book one. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. As I was shuffling the first Oracle deck, I got obstacles and challenges. So let's see what else comes out for my beautiful Gemini Collective for April 2022. I hope you've all been well. All right, so we have Triumph if there's okay, this one wants to come out it is show it tell, calling to me rejoice in celebration okay now we also have regeneration coming out of the second oracle deck what else do we have Ooh, holy wole. let's see we have breathe and we have soulmates all right Okay, so I, I really do think that um, you are going to have some success in overcoming things that you've been trying to conquer, either within or maybe you have a project outside. Uh, maybe you're doing um, work on your house or maybe you're uh, trying to transform inside. Either way, whether it be something physical or internal, I believe that there's going, it's going to be very successful. I mean, obviously, all these cards are screaming celebration, success, triumph. So whatever you're working on, look, I just got the chills. I don't know if you can see <laughs> my uh, goosebumps, but um, whatever you're working on is, is coming, it's coming up. Um, I, we have a three, five, and seven. So this is March, which has just passed May and July. So I feel like this might be coming to fruition pretty soon. I think you're going to start going to start seeing some payoffs quite soon. Um, and then we have regeneration, changes being made, uh, breathe, and soulmates. So I feel like you have um, a rock, a person, that energy of being solid, um, there for you, you can lean on them, very strong. I think that you have somebody in your energy that you've been leaning on. Now, this doesn't have to be uh, a romantic partner. This could be a business partner. This can be a best friend. This could be whomever. But I do believe there's somebody in your energy uh, that's been, been getting you through. You know, anytime you need some help, they're there for you. So I feel like they're, they've been helping you with the changes along with some, um, some guidance from spirit to go through these these changes that you're going through to get you through and i do think that everything is coming to fruition and you're going to uh to see everything um start to be put together uh pretty quickly pretty soon all right so let's move on to tarot gemini what do we have for our Gemini Collective for April. We have the Nine of Coins in Reverse. So for some reason you're unhappy with some something. I just got some kind of outcome. And we have Judgment. You're not giving anybody a second chance. There's a... Uh, something is staying the same. Not giving anybody... 
maybe you're not giving anybody a chance to explain I just heard. Um, you're not accepting any excuses. What else do we have, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. What else do we need to hear for our Gemini Collective? If you haven't already, please click on like, share, and subscribe. I really would love to ha have you click that like button. We have wands, five of wands in reverse. So the chaos is coming, um, is settling. This is your energy. So the chaos is settling. You might be feeling less um, in your head about something. Um, you know, when you're in, in your head about something, it also affects you physically. So you might be feeling like you can breathe a little bit better, that you um, are able to think a little bit clearer. So I feel like the chaos is settling in your life. Once you've made this, like you're not taking any excuses, you're not uh, putting up with the bullshit anymore. You might be not happy about what's happened, but you're also not willing to put up with the bullshit either. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is an unburdening. This is you uh, getting the weight lifted off your shoulders. You feeling like you finally are free from something. So take this all as it resonates. This doesn't have to be necessarily to do with a person. This could do with a job. Um, this can do with schooling or your children. Um, you got to take it as it resonates. I mean, obviously it can be, um, a romantic partnership or a soulmate or a twin flame. We have the temperance in reverse as divine timing. It just means like whatever this is, it just wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right time. You were, uh, connecting with something, but it just wasn't, it wasn't the right time for the connection. It doesn't mean it won't be in the future, I just heard, um, but it's not the right time right now. So for right now, it's something you have to let go, um, clear your head about. What else do we have? This is the six of wine. Yeah, you. It's this is kind of it, of wine, I said. <laughs> I just said the six of wine. Maybe somebody's drinking wine out there while they're watching this. Maybe they're longing for a glass of wine. But this is the Six of Wands. And Six of Wands is all about um, celebrating yourself. Somebody might be celebrating you. Maybe you've won an award. Maybe you're just focusing on yourself right now after everything you've been through. Or you're doing finally what's best for you. This is the Strength card. Yeah, so all this is kind of pointing to... Um, you finding my gemini's finding strength in themselves the lovers so it's like you're you're working on yourself you're creating a strength for yourself you're working on you know clearing the chaos from your head um and then when you're finally realizing this it's like all of a sudden somebody walks in you start to connect again or you start to feel connected again with other people. Um, your self-esteem comes back. You're starting to feel good again. You get, regain that mojo. Okay, what else do we have for Gemini? This is like a little story happening. King of Wands. It's a divine masculine energy. Lots of charisma, lots of personality. This is somebody who is creative, artistic, um, knows what to say and when to say it. Um, people look up to them, commands attention, that kind of energy. So that kind of energy might be coming into your life. It's not gender specific, um, but it is divine masculine energy. So you might have a king of wands. Yeah, and you are kind of apprehensive at first. And this is your sign to take that leap of faith. Change is inevitable. You might have your guards up. You know, you might have built a brick wall around your heart. But this is the universe saying, take that leap. 
Not everybody is going to be like your ex. Not everybody is going to treat you like you've been treated. And like I said, this could have something to do with work or your kids or a partnership. This is taking a leap, making those changes that need to be made. Taking a chance. Putting trust in the universe. Okay, what else do we have? The Emperor in Reverse. Okay, so... Hmm. You might be walking away from somebody in Emperor status. I think I need to clarify this one. I feel like the universe is almost asking you to stay strong. This might be an, another option for you. This emperor in reverse might not feel be feeling um Emperor is like divine masculine energy again. This is somebody who is like a father figure, uh, great at giving advice, great at giving um, logical advice, not necessarily emotional advice. We'll do what they have to do to survive. Like this makes the most sense. Um, and they might not be feeling that way. This is somebody like a lot of people come to for advice. A lot of people come to for leadership. Um, and they're just not feeling that way right now. Maybe you didn't make them feel that way. Maybe that's something internal going on with them. Um, but I feel like this energy is definitely surrounding you. Um, somebody in a leadership role. Maybe this is somebody you're walking away from. Um, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. three of swords in reverse so this per person might be healing from a loss and the seven of swords that's a uh, sneaky sneaky energy so you might want to keep your guard up i feel like somebody who is it i feel like somebody is doing something to maybe sabotage this new this new relationship coming in um you know they think they're healing but they're being really really sneaky sabotaging you this new relationship um they want you for the long term they see this uh, they want another opportunity but right here this is like you're not willing to give them a second chance you're not willing to to be in that energy anymore so i don't feel like you want that to give them that second chance. Um, so they think they're healing, but this is, they may be handling it completely wrong and um, they're trying to get you back. Oh, this just flipped over. This is the four of wands in reverse. So yeah, th that might've been a breakup. You know, maybe a divorce of some sort. Maybe you walked out on them. Maybe they walked out on you. Um, and I feel like they're coming back. They're trying to come back, at least, into your energy. And I'm pretty sure that that's not what you want. I don't think that that's what this leap of faith was for. I think you want to start a new relationship with somebody uh, um, more suitable for you. Ace of Swords. This is you have an aha moment. You discover something. You're starting to be filled with ideas and visions. And um, you know what's right for you and what's not right for you. So you're, trying to, you're starting to think more logically. Head over heart. And you're like, you know what? I am better than that. This is the King of Swords in reverse. This is, um, uh, again, a divine masculine energy who is uh, feeling maybe you cut them off. But this is somebody who is, who is in your, up in your social media trying to track you 
um, keep track of you, not track you down, keep track of you, wondering what you're doing, who you're doing it with, looking at your posts, trying to decide, you know, where they fit into the picture, um, if they even do. Uh, but it seems to me that like you've moved on and this person is still trying to sneak into your energy. Um, but they're also giving you the cold shoulder, but I think that's because you might have cut them off. I think you might have been the one to be like, peace out, I'm done. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Cups was you walking away. You know, you seemed like you had it all. You Maybe you had the house, the kids, the white picket fence. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. You know, what you're feeling inside is what you're feeling inside. So just because things seem so beautiful on the, it, all your cups are full, but you still are looking for that ninth cups that leads to happiness. So there's something that you have to ascend to, to complete yourself. So this is you trying to figure out what, what else you need, what else is going to make you happy. And by looking inward, you, you're the one who can only decide that. This is, involves shadow work and uh, light work and trying to figure out what is it that was missing from the relationship and what's going to make you happy. All right, so let's go. These are, uh, this is a new deck. It's called Life Purpose. So I'm going to pull a, some cards from this one to get some messages from Spirit before we close out the reading. Spirit, what do we have for our, I know I see this one coming out. Oracle cards, you're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. We have leadership, take charge of this situation. What else do we have for our Geminis for their life purpose for April 2022? What else do they need to hear for their greatest good? Oop. We have heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. So yeah, whatever you're manifesting and you're putting out there, like I said, I feel like this is coming up soon. Whatever you're manifesting, um, you're going to be triumphant in. I said that in the beginning. And... Um, you're, you're divinely protected. You know, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, I feel like as long as you keep your energy positive, your mind open, and we have infinite abundance, you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. And let's pull from... One final card from the Moonology deck. Okay, we have first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Okay, so I'm going to read this one to you. First quarter. In Leo. Tension is in the air. You know that you can achieve your goals, which is half the battle, but this card suggests that you need to be less show and more substance as you move slowly towards your goals. Don't try to impress anyone with money. Avoid allowing your ego to overwhelm you. Don't opt for something merely because you'll think it'll impress others. Practice grounding. In a financial situation, slow your spending in love. If you're being stubborn or possessive, now is the time to stop. Um, this cold, this card holds a lot of power. You just need to challenge the heated energies in a wise way. All right, so it's time for you to manifest the magic of the moon in Leo. All right. 
Thank you, Gemini, for tuning in. Thank you for your amazing support, especially if you lasted until the end. It is truly appreciated. I love all of you. And uh, like I said, I'm booking personal readings. Please don't uh, forget to hit like and subscribe. And um, I will see you next time. Bye, Gemini.